What's up guys? Welcome back to Cherokee Hacks Life. So in my previous video, I talked about very briefly how I tore my meniscus. Um, and I know it's torn just because of the, the symptoms that I have. I haven't really had an MRI done, but I had my doctor actually look at it probably the same week that it actually happened. And he's pretty sure that I tore the meniscus. Um, when I first tore it, it was doing perhaps the most mundane thing in the world. It was actually just um, kneeling down on my son's bed, putting up a small little light, like a little night light and stuff. And I was just kneeling down, screwing something into the wall. And I just heard a pop. And then not too much pain, but it felt a little weird. So I was like, okay, cool, I'm fine. And then the next morning I woke up and it was horrible. I mean, I was just trying to walk and my knee just hurt. I felt the swelling around the knee. And then as the day progressed and as really the week progressed, the one thing that kind of clicked on me that I'm pretty sure I tore my meniscus was that I went to, I was actually running up the stairs to come up here to actually upload a video. And my knee just locked up. I mean, literally, it locked up right into this position. I couldn't straighten it out. It took me a good five to 10 minutes. It was agonizing pain to try to straighten it out. And I can feel the meniscus, I guess you could say at this point, um, actually trying to get straight again. And actually I could feel it hurting inside and actually feel it kind of you know, pushing back out to the position that I was supposed to be in. So it fucking hurt like hell. In any instance, what I wound up doing was um, kind of just taking it easy. Luckily, it wasn't softball season. I was still actually recovering from my shoulder. So it kind of fell in a good, at a good time, so to speak, that it actually popped because I wasn't really doing anything extraneous or anything that would actually stop me for the moment. So what I wound up doing is once softball season kind of kicked off is I'm a bit of an active person, obviously. So I don't want to stay stuck anywhere. So when I play softball, I play shortstop or sometimes I'll play outfield depending on how the team kind of, kind of works. Most of the time I'm playing softball, a shortstop. And when you're playing shortstop, you got to stay on your toes. You got to cut back and forth. And that cutting back and forth motion hurt like hell the first week. So I said, okay, cool. I need to get something to actually give me some support. So what I wound up doing was, like most people, went to sports authority. And there's a whole array of shit that you can get for your knee. And they have a bunch of McDavid products. Um, and I went online, read some pretty good reviews on some McDavid stuff. But I also wanted to give some reviews on what I found to actually work for my meniscus that probably might help you guys as well and kind of save you the four, four weeks that it took me to actually figure out which one would work for me. And again, everybody's going to be different, but in my personal opinion, this, this particular one was the one that would work for me. It's the level two cross strap McDavid strap. Now, I literally went through three other straps before I came to this conclusion, and I'll kind of break down why. The reason I went with this one is it gives me the most support, not only on the top, but it also has this cool little thing where it cross straps from one side to the other on both sides. So, I'm taking this thing apart, it kind of just cross straps one way, this one cross straps this way, this comes up over the top, this one cross straps from the bottom up, and this one cross like this. It basically looks like this on your knee, so it cross straps all the way around, and then this one actually tightens the top, and this one tightens the, excuse me, the bottom, and then this one tightens the top. I really liked it for that reason. I tried a bunch of different ones. I went through like level one, so they have different levels. I didn't think it was straight up level three with like the metal hinges on the side and shit. I don't think it's that serious. But the metal, the level one, it honestly was just an elastic strap with the hole in patella. Um, and I'll put up pictures over here so that we guys see what I'm talking about. Um, it just had a hole for the patella and that didn't really do much. Then I moved up to uh, level two, which had like a gel insert. And the gel actually felt good for a little bit. The problem is with the gel is if you're an active person like me, like if you still wanted to stay somewhat active, do a little bit of jogging or play sports, basketball, baseball, and you're trying to move, it just starts sliding and actually as you sweat, it just becomes really irritating. So if that's something that they can correct, it probably would be a decent one at a lower cost level. I think it was like 39 bucks or something like that. Then I moved up to a level two 
which was very similar to this one. It's a cross strap one, but it didn't have the top and bottom supports. So I figured, okay, if it's not having top and bottom supports, maybe it'll do what it has to do and just kind of just keep the pressure on my knee like I needed to and just stabilize it. But no, it didn't. It actually just wound up sliding off and during a game, like in between each play, I wind up pulling it back up. So it was a bit of a pain in the ass. If you're not an active person, this might actually be a good, uh, a good solution for you that'll just, it'll stay there during your work day or whatever. You can still bend it and not feel, not feel any discomfort. Um, the only discomfort I did feel, and again, I think this is because I was active, is because I had to come all the way across on the strap and you can kind of feel the Velcro, the hard part of the Velcro kind of come all the way up onto the top and it was kind of annoying. Um, the next one that actually worked out was this one. This one was perfect. Um, it gave me the support that I needed laterally. Uh, it gave me the support um, up at the top and on the bottom so that way it doesn't feel like it's sliding down with every play or with every run that you do. Um, it didn't feel sticky or hurt or any in any way. Um, it's actually really, really comfortable. And it actually has um, some slightly harder inserts. I think they're plastic off on the insides. So if you're, if you're like me, if you know where the meniscus is, the meniscus is basically the joint that's here. There's another one on the outside. So my interior meniscus is the one that's torn. It just fucking hurt like hell. Um, but this one actually helped out a lot. The best thing I could say is, you know, kind of choose the ones that you guys want along the way, but if you're gonna be active and you need something to kind of hold that one portion in and kind of give you some knee stabilization without going all out and feeling like uh, you're forced to come with the metal in your legs, then just go straight for this one. This is probably one of the better ones that i found. Um, hopefully that helps you guys. Um, you know, I'm probably not gonna have surgery on my meniscus anytime soon, so kind of trying to ease my way into the fact that I just finished getting off shoulder surgery and I have to go in for knee surgery. I'm going to ease off into that one until it gets a lot worse. I probably won't wind up doing it. Um, maybe I'll do it in the fall. I don't know. It all depends. But that's basically it, guys. Hopefully this video actually helps you guys out on choosing the right uh, knee support for you. Um, you know, if you guys have any questions on it, just feel free to leave me a message down below. Shoot me an email at Cherokee Hacks Life. Like, share, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Catch you guys later.